So there goes David into the elevator. And this is Christian. He has... You made these. Well, not the actual shoes, but there's... Yeah, the cover. The cover. Oh, I just cover them up. Fantastic. Do you like it? Yes, yeah, that looks really professional and fantastic. But then you are professional and fantastic. And fantastic. In today's episode, how do you do into a bazaar? Blah, blah, blah. Welcome to Stories of My Life. So today, going into the theatre, packing up all the stuff, I'm meeting Christian, we're going to go through everything, and um, that's it. It'll be an exciting day. The sun is shining, it's sort of almost the end of May. I don't know what happened to May. I don't know. I don't know what happened to May. Join us for a fascinating day. So ladies and gentlemen, here we are, and here he is in a lovely spring collection. So this is David, he's having first run through in wigs and makeup of a, of a farce this summer. See you later on. I'm uh, not gonna go. Oh. I refuse. Oh my god. To do with my life. Oh you do, like gardening. Pole dancing. Yeah. There goes David into the elevator, and this is Christian, he has... You made these. Well, not the actual shoes, but there's... Yeah, the cover. The cover. Oh, I just cover them up. Fantastic. Do you like it? Yes, yeah, that looks really professional and fantastic. But then you are professional and fantastic. And fantastic. So today, people, nothing works. I ruined our coffee maker that we have up in, the, in our room. Now I try to make coffee here, where I made coffee before. And I pushed all the wrong buttons. Christian is laughing at me. I got Where's no, my coffee? I got no respect. No respect. I don't even respect myself. Okay, people, this is beautifully curated. Spring colours. Easter colours, I'm not sure. But look at it. I, I'm bound to find something interesting here. <gasps> and I already did. Ladies and gentlemen, two men in the same size dress. He fits into his, I, <laughs> I have to wear it back to front. This is a shame, isn't it? God. <laughs> <laughs> We're having fun. So people, I'm on my way to buy boxes. The one you sort of pack stuff in when you move. Moving boxes. I know exactly where I find them. Yeah. I'm in control. People, mission accomplished. Moving boxes. There are. There are. There is. I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to show you Christian and three fans. Oh my God. Yes. And he's dancing. Meanwhile, at the theater, it's time for lunch. Yes, a big baguette and pasta. Christian is having something atrocious. He claims that he's cooking. I think you're just heating stuff. <laughs> so people, I just want to say it's so nice to work with Christian again, although he has got cake or something, or something in his head. What you, oh, he's been doing stuff. It's so nice to have you back. Looking gorgeous, glamorous, and I love that jacket. You made it yourself? Yes. I yeah, so it. contact him. If you want this jacket, this exactly jacket, this jacket. Not this, this. Yes, well, it's for sale. I, I'm selling this. <laughs> You're selling me. Yeah. Oh my God. I have a thousand things to do. I need to fix my bike. Something's wrong with the wheels. Yes, I know. But I think I need to get a new bike. They sell, they can fix it, but every time they fix it, it's sort of like, very temporarily. Anyway, since I have so much to do, oh, I thought it was Ulf. Uh, need to pack, need to start organizing, need to tidy up my apartment. I made plans with Ulf on my way home to go to Ikea. So that's what we're doing. And then in the evening, I will do all the stuff that I have to do. Yeah, procrastination. So the wheel is kind of fixed. Now, I'm, we're going to have falafels. I'm not going to eat anything. 
just gonna go up and wait for him. I'm not even gonna start tidying up because I'm in one of my moods. So people, Ulfrid outside just texted me and here's my gift for him. Was it good? Hello. <laughs> what did you get? Crickets! Crickets in sea salt and chili clouds. And that's supposed to be lethal. I, they told me to tell you that it's lethal. So people, I just told Ulf that I sort of uh, suggested IKEA because I have so much things to do and he said the only th he only accepted because he also got loads to do and don't want to do it. So here we are just procrastinating. So people, here we go. The man with the mission, Ikea. Are you going to buy something special? I don't have a mission. You don't have a mission? You're not no. going to buy anything? No, I'm just driving you. Oh, Miss good. Daisy. Oh, Miss Daisy. Oh, I'm Miss Daisy. That, well, she, she goes senile, doesn't she? Isn't she senile in the end? Oh, fuck off. First thing you do at Ikea, you get one of those bags. And then we're going to look at this new collection called Corsa Barrier. Possibly? Yes. Stupid table. When designing oh. products like this, it starts with an idea. Oh, that, it looks better than... So here's a hat. I might buy that. Here's a poncho. I think I'll buy that. What else? Oh. What? Luke is trying the new hat. It's very... Mexican? Yes. Sombrero. Or maybe Pirates of the Para Carrillo by some seed bar. Like a cowboy hat. Oh, just a little bit irritating. It's not that I thought I'd like it, but I don't think I will. So people, I just want to show you the moo moo from IKEA. I'm going to buy this one. This is sort of when you, on the beach, when you. Yeah, I'm not going to buy this, the hat. I don't think. Well, maybe I should. <gasps> maybe it's in the. Maybe I should. I think I should. I, I, yeah, I will. Yeah. Because I'll regret it. But I will not buy the bag because I think it's... Well, maybe, maybe I should. Should I? Maybe the bum bag. I'm not sure. Should I? The Christians. The Christians. Ulf is looking for a lead lamp because he bought some sort of lamp that was too hot for the lamp he put it in, so it started melting. So now he's getting a lead lamp instead. Correct? Okay, people, I'm buying this. I am. He's unhygienic, so he needs help to get rid of the flies and his fat. Yes, people, Ulf is sitting down. Let me try. <laughs> He's having a fabulous time. <laughs> yes, people, he's sitting down again. This time in another chair. Mm. So Ulf bought a bag and he quite kind can't quite get it up. You have a problem getting it up? Never. So, what did you buy? A bag. Yeah. A bag. A bag. A bag. And a bag. And blue cheese. Blue cheese? Yeah. You sell blue cheese here? Oh, didn't know that. So this is for Marcus, a song for Marcus. He will get this. I've given you sunshine, I've given you dirt, you've given me nothing but heartache and hurt. 
I'm asking you sweetly I'm down on my knees Oh please grow for me Okay, this is Ulf's you got, Who gave these to you? Lotta Oh, why? Because she had loads of stuff that she needed to remove from the storage facility Oh So you're going to have these where? In your basement? No, in your car. You're just going to keep them in the car. Good. Yes, people, he has not been to a... No, it's supposed to be this. It's, it's supposed... Oh, fuck, he's mad now. So, people, we were here and we bought this. And I thought we were going to eat it there, but Ulf said, no, come home to my place, we'll eat there, and then I drive you home. And I said, okay, I will, because food. I've given you sunshine. He keeps forgetting stuff. Dementia can hit you suddenly. Oh my God. So Ulf just told me his everything. It still, it still looks like sort of a hoarder lives there. Would you say that you are a hoarder? Yeah, still hoarding. So I was being a nice friend and said it doesn't look that bad. <gasps> look, 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 look. We've seen one episode of Call My Agent. Now I need to go home because I really need to do stuff. And you need to, this thing needs to happen now. Well, you, not now, maybe, but you know. Or maybe you could say you've been robbed. No, they don't leave stuff, do they? Did they take stuff? No, can't say you've been robbed. Someone is squatting in your apartment. Yes. That's it. These things aren't yours. Someone just moved them here. Look, look, the pip pip. Je vous en prie. Je vous en prie, monsieur. Il va va va. Look into the camera. Say something interesting. What would Sartre have said if he was here? No. One of the things I really enjoy after having seen Call My Agent, which is which is in French, is that we walk around afterwards. We not speak. Our French is not that great, but we say a lot of things like "L'heure du bâtiment, tu peux pas, puis puis tu te refuses." Now I'm here, standing here. Something to do with. Oh. Yeah, this is a reenactment of what happened to Baby Jane. But you are, Blanche. You are. Adieu. Merci bien pour le... le... A belle époque. A la, la belle époque. Au revoir. A demain. A, a, a bientôt. Tu du pup. You see, we speak French. It's not that hard. Le voiture. Le voiture. Le trottoir. La rue. La ciel. La maison. Rien ne va plus. What's going to happen now is I'm going to go straight to bed. Well, I'm going to brush my teeth and all that, and then straight to bed and edit some videos because tomorrow I need to upload a lot of videos and I haven't even started them yet. I'm so behind. So this is bull penis, and frankly, I'm a bit disappointed. Looks you... like a worm. Are you a size queen? Yeah, I'm not happy about that. Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.